One of the best parts of a sliding table saw is, you guessed it, the sliding table, because it has a lot of functions. One of them, for example, is if you work with the rough lumber, which has a lot of bark and no straight edge yet, it makes it very too easy to work with it. So if you have a piece like this and you want to get it into nice and square lumber, you will usually begin with face jointing and edge jointing. And face jointing would be no problem at all, but edge jointing would be because you have to pass this edge like a million times over the jointer until it's straight. So what you do first is to make a trim cut to get a nice and straight reference edge. And that's really easy with a sliding table, because you can just fix the piece on the sliding table and then run it through the saw. But you need an easy way to secure the piece on the sliding table. And what's usually used is a edging shoe. And I could buy one for my saw, but... Well, it costs money, so I decided to make my own. As this doesn't require a lot of wood, I just took some scrap and started cutting. I want to join these two pieces at 45 degrees and therefore I have to make some cutouts into this bigger piece. And to make it easier for myself to make these cutouts I made a 3D model of this piece and a paper template. And this is the shape I have to cut this piece to. All these cuts are at 45 degrees so I, well of course, tilted the blade. Then I simply set the blade height and fence so that I could cut out this shape. As you can see it fits together quite nicely, but the challenge now is how to glue it up because you can't just put a clamp from edge to edge. So you need some kind of clamping system and fortunately I have one, because a while ago I made these clamping blocks for another project and they just clamp to the pieces like so. And now I can put a clamp from here to here and this should clamp this then reasonably well. Actually it took more time than I thought it would. Now finally it's all glued up. The next piece I need to make is a runner for the miter slot and I'm gonna make this out of this scrap piece of oak. I measured the slot and set the fence to a little bit less than that to give the runner a little bit of play in the slot. And then the exact same thing for the thickness. Then I made some more cuts to make it a T-shape and chamfered the edges by hand. And it fits perfectly. Because the glue of the other piece wasn't dry yet, I made the knob for tightening. For that I just glued on a paper template, punched through the center, cut it out on the scroll saw, sanded it to the line and rounded the edges. After drilling the hole for the bolt, I also made a spacer piece with a hole saw. Then I hammered in the bolt and glued the two pieces together. The piece as it is now is already quite strong, but I would like it to be really strong. So I want to insert some dowels into here. But the problem is, it's nearly impossible to drill an accurate hole in this thin plywood and even a drill press it's almost impossible. So I made this quick jig with three holes and I just clamp it to the piece. And these holes then guide the drill as it enters this angled piece of wood. Looks like it worked really well. Most of the commercial edging shoes have extended and angled edges which improves the grip on the wood. So I made the same thing with rabbits and two pieces of hardwood. Once dry I cut off the overhang and sanded the bottom flush again. Okay, all the pieces are finished now and the last thing I need to make is to figure out where to mount it on the sliding table. The logical thing would be to mount it as close to the blade as possible, but then it would interfere with the dust hood. So I need to move it out so it just clears this knob of the dust hood. Right about here. Instead of a hole I created a slot by drilling two holes and in between them to allow for some adjustability. For the runner I drilled a hole and then tapped it. As taps and wood tend to be a little bit stiff, I tried to loosen it by drilling in and out multiple times. 
Now it's time for a test mount. And finally, to prevent it from sliding side to side, I added this piece that just sits against the edge of the table. And now this thing is rock solid. For a demonstration, I aligned the edge that I want to cut off with the blade and then run it through the saw. Now that you have one straight edge, it's really easy to make this into nice and square lumber. And as you can see, it's really easy to use this. It would be even better if I had some kind of toggle clamp at the front, but one jig at a time. For example is, if you work with raw and therefore you have to make some 